Welcome everyone to the fourth video in a series of videos on solar and wind energy estimation and forecasting application developed in MATLAB. I'm Minat Kiran Gaikwad, the developer of the application. I have a Master's of Technology in Power Electronics and Power Systems from Sardar Patel College of Engineering, Mumbai. I'm currently working as a Junior Project Fellow at Germany, Gujarat Energy Research and Management Institute under Dr. Sagar Kumar Akhavad. In this video, we will have a demo on the PVIV Culture Reader application. As we know from previous videos, the PVIV Culture Reader application is part of the Solar Energy Estimation application. And here you can see the main interface of the Solar Energy Estimation application. And from here, on this pane, you can select the application of interest. And for this video, it is the IVM PV generator application. If you hit, click this button, the application will open, which I have already opened, to save us some time and also populate it with some input data. So this is the PVIV curve generator window, and as you can see, we have two modes of computations. One is the PV module mode, and the other one is the PV cell. Mode. So let us start with PV module mode. Okay, so the next part of inputs are the PV module specifications which are available from the data sheets. And the specs required are open circuit voltage of the module in volts, short circuit current in amperes, voltage at MPPT in volts, current at MPPT in amperes, power at MPPT in watts, the number of cells which this module comprises of in series and number of such series in parallel. Okay, so for this demo purposes, we consider that the module, which is actually a thin film module, will consist of 36 individual cells and one string of those 36 cells which are connected in series. The next input is the temperature coefficient of voltage in percentage per degree and lastly the current temperature coefficient of current in percentage per degree. Okay, and in this pane we will input the temperature and insulation information. This column is for the STC values, that is the standard testing condition values, and this column is for the ambient values. So, as we all know, that the STC condition values are 25 degrees Celsius and 1000 watts per meter square. And to start with, let our ambient temperature and irradiance be as same as the STC values. And we will get to shading in a while. And in the compute pane, now in order to compute the PV and IV curves, we will hit the normal button. Read and yes, here are the IV and PV curves. The first row of the graphs are dedicated to the STC condition, and the second row of the graphs are dedicated to the ambient conditions. And in this case, both are same, so we'll get both we'll get uh, same graphs in both the rows. But now we will start changing the ambient irradiance will decrease it to 800 and let's see what happens if we hit normal. And we see the power reduces, the current reduces that it is directly proportional to irradiance. Let us go further. 600, normal, 400 watts per meter square. Then we go for 200 hit normal. And yes, as we keep on reducing the irradiance, we see that there is an appreciable reduction in the current, which is directly proportional to the irradiance, and consequently, there is a reduction in the output power. Okay, but these graphs maintain their STC conditions and we have a reference to now uh, uh, we have a reference so that we can compare the graphs below and 
yes we'll move forward and now in the next part we will keep this as thousand we will keep this constant and we will vary the temperatures and now we can reset the graphs using the reset button okay and we press normal again and we have the STC condition graphs again and we will start varying our temperature we we'll go for 50 we'll go for 75 which is not likely but still And we may go for a low temperature than 25 minus 0 and we can go for minus 25 and we see and we can see the first row maintains its AVIV curves at STC condition and the second row varies and stores holds the graphs for different ambient conditions so as we increase the temperature we have lower and lower voltages with a slight increase in the current okay and these are the graphs for varying temperature when irradiance is kept constant okay i think we can reset this now let us come back to our ambient conditions okay so now the next part is the shading analysis okay so to do shading analysis the inputs required are number of shaded cells let us keep it to zero number of cells per bypass diode let that to be zero and the voltage drop in the bypass diode which is usually 0 0.5 volts we'll hit shading and we'll get the same STC condition PVIV curves as there is no shading and there are no bypass diodes. But let us see what happens when there is a shaded cell. And let us suppose that each cell inside that module has a bypass diode connected across it. Okay, and we'll hit shading. And as we can see, the first row gives the PV and IV curves with shading without bypass diode, and the second row gives us the PV IV curves with shading and with the bypass diode. And as you can compare, the power reduction due to shading is lesser in the case when we have a bypass diode. And if we keep on increasing the number of shaded cells, let us say it's not five. Let's see what happens. And we have more reduction in power when there is no bypass diode connected, but considerably less reduction in power when we have a bypass diode connected. So, this is how you can do a simple analysis of shading analysis using this application. And okay, we can. We can reset the graphs now and we'll go to the PV cell module which considers that each value over here corresponds to the data sheet value of a particular cell and we can create a hypothetical module out of that cell. Okay, so we keep the STC and ambient conditions equal and we press normal and we have the same old. PV and IV curve graph, but now what I want to do is that I want to have two such cells in series and three such strings in parallel. Let's see what happens. I hit normal. Yes, this is this is the original. The smaller graphs are the original ones which have only one such cell, but as we increase the number of cells in series to two we have why we have doubled doubled the voltage and as we have increased the number of such strings in parallel to three we have tripled the current over here and that is what we can do with this PV cell mode and that's all about it. We can reset the graphs and we can close it and yes Hence, this application is useful for plotting 
power voltage and current voltage curves of PV modules at different irradiances and temperatures. Also, it helps in analyzing simple shading analysis with and without bypass diode. Thank you.